Hi everybody, this is Orion Field, and this is my twice yearly collection update. Um, since the last time we filmed, we've increased the amount from 540 to 765, and I'm trying to consolidate these into as few shots as possible. So we're going to start off with my miscellaneous European airlines, African and Middle Eastern. Starting with the British European Handley Page Herald. Then we have the Vickers Vanguard, De Havilland Comet 3, two De Havilland Comet 4s, one for British European Airways Air Tours, three Tridents, then we have a Monarch Bristol Britannia, they have two Lot Polish IL-18s, Aeroflot Liznov Li-2, two 767s, IL-62, IL-86, IL-96, and DC-10-40. Moving on to an Interflug IL-18, Delavia Embraer ER uh, E195, uh, Donavia TU-154, two beautiful Iceland Air 757-200s, KLM Lockheed Electra, 737-400, 747-400F, and the special livery 777-300. Moving on, we have two Ryanair 737-200s, an Aer Lingus ATR-72, A320, 707, 767, A330, and 747-100. Moving on, we have an Atlant Soyuz IL-86, Special Livery Swiss Air A340, Virgin Atlantic 767, 747-100, Spirit of Sir Freddy, two Virgin Atlantic 747-200s, and a 747-400. Moving on to Africa, we have Air Afrique, 747-200F, 737-200 200 cargo, and a DC-8 cargo, as well as an Aer Lingus East African Airways Hybrid 747-100. We have a South African Airways 707-300B and 300C, as well as the Special Livery 747-300. Moving on to the Middle East, we have Kuwait Airways to have one comment, as well as Middle Eastern Airways to have one comment. Then we have Gulf Air Cargo 707, 767, A330, A340. Moving on to El Al, we have the Bristol Britannia, Boeing 720. Then a very long line of 707s, including 707-300s and 400s. Then 767, cargo, 747-100, and the 747-400. Then moving on to Qatar, we have the A319, A330-200, A330-300, A340, and A380. We have a Saudi Arabian 747-300, Etihad Delivery Livery A380, Emirates Dubai Shopping Expo A330 and A340. We have an, a 777-300ER and the Dubai Expo A380. Moving on to Alitalia, Air France, and Lufthansa, we have the ERJ-145 Caraval, ATI, Blue Alitalia Hybrid DC-9, followed by the regular Alitalia DC-9s, two Alitalia MD-80s, 727, Airbus A319, A320, two A321s, two Douglas DC-8s, as well as a third one in the old colors, three Boeing 767s and three different liveries, 
the Airbus A300, Boeing 777, 747-200 cargo, 747-200 passenger, and the 747-100. Moving on to Air France, we have the DC-3, followed by the Airbus A220-300, A318, 19, 20, and two Airbus A321s. Then we have three Boeing 707s, followed by a Boeing 727-200. Next we have the Concords in three different liveries, followed by the Airbus A310, the Airbus A300, and the Airbus A350. We also have SkyTeam 777-300, regular 777-300 ER, 777-200 and 747-200 cargo. On to Lufthansa, we have the Boeing 727-100, and three 737-200s. We have the retro livery Airbus A321, the Condor 757-300, Boeing 707, Airbus A300, Airbus A350 in the clean air flyer livery, that is almost correct. <laughs> Lufthansa Cargo 747-200, 747-400, and 747-8i. Moving on to the British Airways collection, we have two HS 748s, Vickers Viscount, three DC-7s, a Stratocruiser, and two Bristol Britannias. We have the de Havilland Comet 4, Boeing 707s, including the 400 in cargo. And then into the British Airways liveries. Then we have the Hawker Siddeley Tridents and the Vickers VC-10. Moving on, we have the Airbuses, A318, 19s. A320 100s and 200s, and the A320 Neo and the A321. Then we have the 737 300 and the 727 100, 727 200s, 757, the Concorde, and two DC 10s, one of which in the Air Liberté Utopia tail. Then we have the 767. 300, the 777-200 in the Canadian tail, and the Chelsea Rose and the Union Jack, followed by the A350-1000 and the A380. Moving on to the 747, starting with the OAC, 747-100, and the Hybrid, 747-100, British show is Nagus, 747-100, Nagus, 747-200, British Cargo, 747-200, Landor 747-200, although it looks like a 100, and then a more normal looking 200, followed by a Landor 747-400, and then the British Asia Airways Landor 747-400, and the Chelsea Rose British Asia Airways. Moving on to the 747-200 in the Union Jack, as well as the Chelsea Rose. Then we have Nalanji and Nala Dreaming, followed by the Waves of the City and the Union Jack. Then we have the three heritage liveries. We have BOAC, Nagus, Landor, and we have the One World, the British Cargo 747-400, and the 747-8F. Moving on to my Australian and New Zealand aircraft, starting with the Air New Zealand's Lockheed Electras and the 767-300. And then moving on to Australia, we have an ANSET ATL Carver, a TAA 727-200, and a Pacific Air Express Cargo 757. Moving on to Qantas, we have the De Havilland Comet and three Boeing 707s. Followed by the 767-200, 767-300, and the Pride version of the A330. 
Then moving on to the 747s, we have two 747 SPs, 747-300, and the two special 747s, Unala Dreaming and Nalanji Dreaming. Moving on, we have 747-400 and the 747-400 in the One World livery, 747-400ER, and the Airbus A380. Moving on to our Asian airlines, starting with Japan, we have the Japan Air Commuter, and then we have a series of Japan Air System MD-90s in various rainbow liveries. Moving on, we have NA, we have the R2-D2 slash BB-8 767. We have the R2-D2 787-9, the C-3PO 777-200, and the BB-8 777-300. Moving on to the 747s, we have the Pokemon 747-400 and two Pokemon 747-400Ds. Then we have the three whole new Sea Turtle A380s. Moving on to Japan Airlines, we have the One World 767-300. Then we have the One World Airbus A350-900, as well as two other A350-900s. Moving on to the 747s, we have the Disney 747-100-BSR. 747-100-BSR stretched upper deck the 747-200, and the 747-300-SR. Moving on to the rest of Asia, we have a Air Ceylon to have one Comet. We have a Chengdu ARJ-21, an Air India A319, China Eastern A320, Thai Airways 737-400, NOC Airways 737-800, CAAC IL-18, CAAC 707-300C, and the 707-300B, the 757, Uzbekistan Airways 767-300, and IL-86. Then we have the... Korean Air and the Korean Air Cargo 707s, followed by the Singapore 707, Singapore A300, Cathay Pacific A330, China Eastern A330, China Eastern A350, and CAAC 747SP. We have Air India 707, Cathay Pacific Asia's World City 777-300, Asia's World City 747-400, 747-200SF, and a 747-200. Moving on, we have the One World Cathay Pacific A340 and the 777-300. Then we have an Air India 777-200LR and a 747-400. We have an EVA Air Converted Cargo 747-400. Then we have the Malaysia 777 and the Hibiscus 747. We have a Singapore 777, the Singapore Tropical 747, and the Thai 747-400 with the boat. Now moving on to North and South America and house deliveries, starting with Aero Mexico DC-8, Equatoriana 720, Ladeco 727, Lan Chile Caraval, two Varig DC-10s, and a 747 300. We have the original Douglas DC-8, the Pacific Pacer DC-8, the DC-9-10, and the first DC-10, followed by two different versions of the 367-80, the Boeing 727-100 demonstrator, then the 737-300, 400, 500, 600, and 700 BBJ. 
we have the first 747 in the City of Everett and First Flight liveries, followed by the Seahawks 7478F. And then we have the Honeywell engine test bed, as well as the General Electric engine test bed. Moving on to Canada, we have Buffalo Airways C46, a Nord Air Lockheed Electra for ice reconnaissance, two Royal Air 737-200s, a Vickers Merchantman, Vickers Vanguard, Douglas DC-8, two Douglas DC-8 stretches, Lockheed L-1011, C. Pierre DC-3, and two DC-8s, and three DC-10s, and the 747. Moving on to Delta Airlines, we have the Delta Express 737 200, 737 700, 737 800, and 737 900, the Airbus A220 100, A220 800, the MD88, MD90, DC8, 2767400s, and a 777-200 LR. We have two aircraft from Playboy. The A320 is a fantasy livery, but the DC-9 is the famous big money. We have a Jet Suite X Embraer 145, Siskei International Airways Convair 990, Ports of Call Convair 990, Hughes Air West DC-9, Pacific Southwest DC-9, AirCal BAE 146, Air California 737-100, Air Florida 737-200, Miami Air 737-800, ATA 727, Allegiant MD-80, and Allegiant A319. And we have U.S. Airways Miracle on the Hudson A320, a CRJ-200, 757, Embraer 145, another 757, 737 200. Then we have the Braniff Calder 727, the Braniff Calder DC 8, followed by JetBlue A320, Northwest CRJ 900, Northwest DC 950, two Northwest 757s. National Airlines DC-8, Trans International Airlines DC-8, the Columbia Airlines 747 from the airport movie, as well as the Trans Global Airlines from the first airport movie, World Airways 747-200 Charlie, and a World Airways 727-100. Moving on to our cargo aircraft, starting with the special cargo, we have the two Boeing 747 Dreamlifters in the um, two different schemes. We have two Super Guppies, two Belugas, and a Beluga XL. Moving on to DHL, we have the Merchantman, DC-9, a line of 757s two of which have the Grand Tour, uh, Jeremy Clarkson and James May, followed by the Richard Hammond 767, regular 767, two Douglas DC-8s, and two Airbus A300s. Then we have a Airborne Express YS-11, DC-940, and DC-8. We have a FedEx 727-100 and 200. Airbus A310, Airbus A300, and Airbus A300 with the special Disney livery. UPS 757 and DC-8. United States Postal Service 727-100, Flying Tigers 707, Kiaonao 757 and TU-204, ATI DC-8, and a Flying Tigers 747-100 and 747-200F. Moving on to Evergreen International, we have two Lockheed Electras, 747-100, 747-200, 747-200, 747-200, 747-200, 
747-200 aerial firefighting aircraft. Atlas Air 747-200, Atlas Air 747-400, and Atlas Air 747-8F. Focus Air 747-300SF, Cargo 360 747-300SF, Kalita 747-400BCF with flaps down, Cargo Lux 747-8, not without my mask, uh, Wolga Dnieper, uh, Antonov 124, and Antonov Airlines Antonov 125, rest in peace. Here we have Eastern, TWA, and Pan Am. Starting with Pan Am, we have the Douglas DC-3, DC-4, DC-6, DC-7, Boeing 377 Strider Cruiser, Boeing 707-300B, 707-300C, Boeing 720, Boeing 727-100, 727-200, and another 722-7-100, with winglets, two Boeing 737-200s, 737-400, Douglas DC-8s, two of them, two Airbus A300s, Fantasy Pan Am Concorde, DC-10, another DC-10, and three Boeing 747 SPs, followed by the Boeing 747-100, of which there are three of, and then two 747-200s. Moving on to TWA, we have the Convair 880 and two Boeing 707s, one 300B and one 300C. Boeing 727-100, there are two of them, and a Boeing 727-200. Then we have the Douglas DC-9-10, DC-9-30, two Boeing 717s, the MD-80, and the Lockheed L-1011, followed by the Boeing 757 and two 747-100s. Moving on to Eastern, we have the Lockheed Electra, the Lockheed Constellation in four different versions, as well as the Douglas DC-7, DC-3, and two Convair CV-440s. Then we have the, starting with the Douglas DC-9-50, then we have the Dash-10 and the Dash-30. 30s. Moving on to the Boeing 720, 727 100, 727 200, and two 757 200s. Then we have two Douglas DC 8s, a DC 861 and a DC 863. Then we have a Airbus A300, Boeing 767 300, in two different liveries followed by 747-100 in the Pan Am hybrid, 747-100 in the Eastern hockey stick, then the 777 in the current Eastern livery, the Eastern L-1011, and the Eastern DC-10. Next we have Hawaii, Alaska, American Airlines, and Southwest. Starting with Southwest, we have the 737-200 in the Canyon Blue, uh, and the Desert Gold. <laughs> and we have the 737-300 in the Desert Gold, Canyon Blue, and Canyon Blue with winglets. Then we have the 737-500 in the Desert Gold and Canyon Blue. The 737-700 in the Desert Gold and Canyon Blue. And then the Freedom One 737-800. Moving on to American Airlines, we have three Douglas DC-3s, a Douglas DC-4, and a Boeing 377 Stratocruiser. We have three Embraer ERJ-145s, one CRJ-200, CRJ-700, CRJ-900, MD-87, two MD-82s, two 
727 one hundredths, one seven two seven two hundred. We have two Embraer E170s, 737 200, 737 300, 737 800, two of them. Two Boeing 720s, two Boeing 707s, a bunch of 757 200s in various liveries, 767 200, 767 300. Airbus A300, Douglas DC-10, Boeing 747SP, 747-100, Least from Pan Am, 747-100 Freighter, MD-11, and two Boeing 777-200s. Moving on to Alaska, we have the Embraer E-175, Airbus a321neo and two Airbus A320s. Then we have the Convair 990, the Boeing 727-100 leased from United, 737-200 Combi, the 737-400, 400 cargo, and then some special liveries on the 400, the AlaskaAir.com, Disney, and the Salmon 30 Salmon. Moving on to the 700s, we have three 737-700s in the old livery, one in the new livery, and one as a freighter. Moving on to the 800, we have two in the old livery, one in the old livery with the lay, one in the black AlaskaAir.com livery, as well as one in the new livery with scimitar winglets, the Spirit of the Islands, and the Salmon 30 Salmon in the Dash 800. Moving on, we have two MD-80s. Then we have the 737-900, and in the new livery, followed by the 900ER, and in the new livery, in the Boeing Centennial, and the More to Love livery. Moving on to our Hawaiian selections. We have an Aloha Airways BAC-111, Aloha Air Cargo 737-200, two Aloha 737-200s, two Aloha 737-700s, a Hawaiian Boeing 717, an Aloha Pacific DC-10, Hawaiian DC-10, Hawaiian 767-300, and Hawaiian A330. Now we have the United and Continental Aircraft. We'll start with United Express. We have the BAE-146, the Dash 8. We have the ERJ-145, the E-170 in the Rising Blue and in the Continental Merger. Then we have the CRJ-200 in Rising Blue and Evo Blue. We have the CRJ-700 in Rising Blue, as well as the Continental Merger, and then we have the CRJ-550 in Evo Blue. Moving on, then we have a DC-6 in a Boeing Stratocruiser, a Vickers Viscount, Boeing 720, Sud Caraval, 737-200 in the early Friendship Hybrid Mainliner livery, Two Sol Bass 737-200s, and then the 737-300 in Sol Bass, Battleship, and then two United Shuttle 737-300s, and then the 737-300 Evo Blue. Moving on to the 700, we have the Merger and Evo Blue. Then we have the Star Wars 737-800, from both sides. And the Evo Blue 737 800, the Continental Heritage livery in the 737 900. Then we have a 737 Max 8 in the Evo Blue and a Max 9 in the Continental Merger. Then we have an Evo Blue A319 and a TED A320. Moving on to the other side, we'll go through the Douglas aircraft really quickly. We have two Continental DC-9s, 
one of which is Continental Light, followed by the DC-8, the DC-811, the 62, the 21, another 62, the 61, 61, and 71, followed by the DC-10. Moving back now, we have the Boeing 727-100 and in also in Salbass, versus and then the 727-200 in both Salbass and Battleship. Moving on to the 757, we have Salbass, Battleship. We have two rising blues, one without winglets and one with wing winglets. Then we have the Continental Merger without winglets and with winglets. Then we have Evo Blue and the two Her Art Here liveries, followed by the 757-300 in the merger. Moving on to the 767, we have the original delivery to United, and then the regular Sol Bass, the Continental Merger, and then the 767-300, we have Sol Bass, Battleship, Rising Blue, Continental Merger, Evo Blue, and then the Continental 767-400. Moving on to the 777s now, we have a Gemini sample of the Battleship Gray, then the Rising Blue, the Continental Peter Max, and we have the United Continental Merger, and the Evo Blue, followed by the Continental Merger's 777-300ER, and the Evo Blue version followed by the 787-8, Dash 9, and Dash 10. Moving on to the 74s, we have Friendship 1, 747SP, and we have the Battleship Gray, 747SP, the Early Friendship 747-100, Battleship 747-100, Continental Merger, or Continental, I should say, 747-200, United, 747-200. Then onto the 744s, we have Sol Bass, Battleship, Rising Blue, Continental Merger, and then the Farewell Livery. Moving on to my military, government, and space collection, starting with foreign military, we have two BAC-111s from the Royal Aircraft Establishment followed by a Bristol Britannia and a De Havilland Comet, also from the Royal Aircraft Establishment. Moving on to the RAF, we have a De Havilland Comet C4, a Bristol Britannia, two Vickers VC-10s, a Lockheed Delta 11, and the Airbus A330 in the uh, VIP scheme. Moving on, we have a Taiwan, Air Force 737-800, uh, Israeli Defense Force Boeing 707-400, Canadian Armed Forces CC-150 Polaris, the French Air Force A330, the Luftwaffe A350, and the Japan Air Self-Defense Force 747-400. Moving on to space, we have Saturn 1B, and two Saturn Vs, one from Apollo and one from Skylab, as well as the space shuttle with the solid rocket boosters and the fuel tank. We have the space shuttle with the landing gear configuration. We have the Spaceship 2 from Virgin Galactic. Then we have the Antonov An-225 with the Buran. And some NASA 747s. We have the 747 as it was delivered to NASA before conversion, followed by the original shuttle carrier, as well as the later shuttle carrier scheme. Moving on to the military aircraft, we have three C-47s, one with D-Day markings from the Army Air Force and two from the U.S. Air Force. We have one consolidated Catalina. Uh, being from the Air Force, this would be an SA-10A. Then we have some Curtis Commandos, uh, two C-46s, 
and one R5C for the Marine Corps, followed by the VC-118 Independence. This was Truman's Air Force One. Moving on to the C-130s, we have a C-130H, an HC-130H, HC-130J, LC-130R, and C-130T. Then we have an EC-121D, VC-121E, this was Eisenhower's Air Force One, C-121J, and EC-121T. Moving on, we have an RP-3D Orion for the U.S. Naval Oceanographic Office, followed by a Federal Aviation Administration Lockheed Electra, the SR-71 Blackbird, the B-1A, B-1B, the B-2, and the B-52. Moving on, we have two U.S. Air Force C-9 Nightingales, a U.S. Navy C-9B Skytrain II, and a U.S. Air Force VC-9C. We have a C-22A, and then our line of KC-135s, starting with the KC-135D, and two KC-135Es, and a KC-135R, followed by an Omega Tanker 707-300. Moving on then, we have the VC-137C in the early configuration, and then later, after they got rid of the ventral uh, fin, and then the later D-rated C-137C. Then we have an EC-137D, which was the prototype for the E3, and the E3A, E3B, E6B, and E8, C. Then we have two T-43s. One of them is a CT-43 with the red stripe for Janet. Then we have the C-40A and C-40B. The P-8 Poseidon. The C-32A and C-32B. C-17. KC-10. E-4B two VC-25As, and three C-5A galaxies, including the original prototype.